Hello, hello, hello. What's up guys? I'm holding a tripod. This is a makeup free zone today because my skin looks pretty dang bad and it just needs to breathe. Am I right people? Am I right? Welcome back to the vlog. For today's vlog, we're doing something different. You guys have clearly noticed that I've been doing a lot more like cinematic stuff in my vlogs. I really wanna get to a point where my vlogs are like super, super cinematic and like super cool, but at the same time, like rooted in realness. But anyway, through the month of December, I've been kind of trying out a new style of editing and you guys have really, really loved it. And the most common, literally got, oh, oh my God. The comment that I get the most from you guys is what camera equipment do I use when I travel? It's just not easy enough to like answer in a comment to like thousands of you guys. I figured since a lot of you guys were asking me so much that I would literally just like grab all my camera gear, set it down. Well, not all my camera gear, but like just the stuff that I take when I travel. <laughs> dog crossing. Um, and just like briefly tell you a little bit about pretty much anything that's in my camera bag, why I like it and why it might be useful for you if you are looking to like make videos or just videos with your friends and you just want some camera gear knowledge. By the way guys, I wanna say thank you guys so much for commenting so much in my vlogs. Like I hope you guys realize that I really, really appreciate every single comment that is on my vlog. Even if it's like 45,000 comments on a video, I will go through all of them because when I'm making content that I'm really proud of and that I spend so much freaking time on, like when I spend a lot of time on like my videos and you guys comment, like even when you like, just the smallest comments make a huge difference to me and they inspire me so much. So thank you guys. Anyway. <laughs> First things first is your camera. I use the Mark IV. It's basically the Mark III and the 70D combined. The 70D is really good for YouTubers. That was one of my base cameras that I started out making videos with because it had a flip out screen, but also because its autofocus was really, really good. The Mark IV has basically the same autofocus as the 70D. If you're choosing between the Mark III and the Mark IV to make videos, and just in general, I'd pick the Mark IV because the Mark III has literally the worst autofocus. Like it doesn't even have autofocus for videos. So if you're trying to make cinematic shots where you're following someone or you're just wanting to sit and talk, um, the Mark IV is gonna like track your movement a lot. It's gonna track it like 40,000 times better. So Mark IV is what I use to film all of my big fancy shots. For vlogging though, I use the Canon M50. So I can't show you guys my vlog camera because it's like I'm filming with it right now but this is kind of a similar one. Cool thing about the M50 is that it has interchangeable lenses. So if you have a small amount of space and you can't bring a vlog camera and a DSLR camera and all of your other camera equipment, you can buy a lens adapter, which looks like this. It's probably like $50, I think. I'm gonna try to link everything that I talked about in the description. And then you can take any lens. This is a 35 millimeter Canon lens and just attach it on and then suddenly your vlog camera becomes like a literal DSLR camera. So yeah, this is pretty much the setup that I use when I'm traveling and I don't think that it's worth bringing my large DSLR. This is just a good quick, quick little setup to have. Have in your kit. Okay, so for audio, for these two cameras, the mic that I use for my DSLR is this one. It is a Rode mic. I think this one is called like the Video Pro. I'm gonna put the exact name in the description. It's really cool. It just has like the little adjustments on the back of it. That's what it looks like. And this basically just attaches to your camera up top like with the hot shoe mount. And then the mic that I use for my vlog camera, can't show you guys because it's hooked up to my camera, but it looks like this. It's got like a little fluffy, little, little fluffy little Buckingham Palace hat on. Look at how cute that little thing looks. It's also the Rode mic brand. It's just a smaller, it's called like, video mic, I don't know. It's just a tiny little cute little mini mic and it attaches to your camera like so. So the reason why I bought this vlog camera and I upgraded to this one um, instead of just keeping the G7X, which is a pretty typical vlog camera for many people, takes amazing photos, it works for them. I love that camera. Um, but the reason why I upgraded was because this had a hot shoe 
which is this little thingy. I just found that when I was vlogging, I would have completely unusable footage just because I would be like in the wind. Um, so I had to get a mic and this basically is like a little windshield. So your audio will still be pretty clear when it's windy outside. So yeah, that's pretty much why I upgraded was mostly just to have this little baby. Now let's move on to drones. This is the drone that I use. It is the Mavic Air. This drone is incredible, guys. This is the remote control. It is so cute and tiny. The drone that I had before this, guys. Mm. This is the drone, guys. Like, it's literally the size of my head. I can literally put this in a backpack, in a tiny crossbody bag. In, like, I can literally, I can hang this off my pants if I wanted to, but it doesn't have the battery in it right now because I'm charging them. This is what the drone itself looks like. You just pop open all of your little drony flaps and there's your drone. This drone has just become my best friend. It's my freaking buddy. It's gotten me the coolest cinematic shots and it just proves that you don't need some like giant cinematic drone setup to get really amazing shots. I have other drones that are a lot bigger, but it just doesn't make sense to travel with them because it literally takes up half my suitcase just to pack a drone. And I never wanna take it out anywhere when I travel because like I'm not gonna pull out a drone the size of freaking Texas in a random country with people like I wanna respect. So this drone is discreet, it's cute, it's tiny. It almost looks like a toy. And it's just a lot less obnoxious when you're like on a public beach or like somewhere that you don't really wanna whip out an airplane to just fly all around people. But also the price is really good. I would happily pay, like that's, it's a good price for that drone. It's not overpriced in my opinion. So I just overall rave, I'll, I'll hype that drone any day, you know? This is the GoPro that I use. I don't really use GoPro footage just because I've never really understood quite how to use my GoPro correctly. My friend Amir is just a beast on the GoPro, but I don't, I haven't really personally, like I'm just gonna be honest, I haven't taken this on many trips lately. It gets really hectic when you have like a drone, a vlog camera, a main camera, a GoPro, a film camera, a Polaroid, like it's so much that you're creating. The GoPro is just kinda, it's like the thing that got like left behind, which I feel bad about, but I don't know, like maybe I'll film more, I don't know. Okay, we'll just wait for the airplane to pass. Hero five. Oh my God, oh look, it's, it's on. Oh my God, that's so creepy. Oh my God, that is so freak. Holy crap, that's so weird. Okay, anyway, no, no, stop yelling at me. I don't know what I'm freaking, do oh my God, stop yelling. I really don't know how to even turn my GoPro off. Is that like noob or what? Okay, I don't know how to turn this GoPro off, so. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you the lens that I use and then we're gonna move on to accessories. This is my most common lens that I travel with. It's the Canon 35 millimeter. You guys have probably heard about it if you're interested in cameras and YouTube and filming. Um, it looks like this without the adapter on it. So it's pretty tiny. It creates beautiful footage. It's done pretty much all of the footage that you've seen has been on the 35 millimeter. There are a couple other lenses that I like, which are the Canon 16 to 35. I just don't typically use that as much because I don't really like changing my lenses out when they're on the stabilizer or they're on a tripod. I find that it just gets to be too much to be like switching lenses and having just like a ton of stuff to be shooting. So this is my go-to lens. I can pretty much get any shot I want with this lens. Other lenses that I really like, yeah, 16 to 35, the 85 is really beautiful, the 50 millimeter, but if you're gonna get the 50, I would might as well just get the 85. And yeah, those are pretty much my favorite lenses. Okay, so the camera lens that I'm filming on is the Canon zoom lens 11 to 22. This is only helpful for you if you're going to get one of these like Canon interchangeable lens vlog cameras, but it's super wide, like as you can tell, this lens is so wide and it gets so close. Like you can do anything on this lens. You can create like makeup videos. My skin looks so bad, oh my God. Honestly, if you're not ready to like go full throttle on this, I would recommend getting the Canon M50 and then just like building your lens kit and then upgrading to the Mark IV when you're like finally ready. But that's just probably what I would do. And last but not least, my film camera. It's just a little Olympus automatic film camera. It takes beautiful film photos. Taking this thing around the world, um, it's quick and it's easy. You can just open it and take a picture. Great film camera. Okay, so now, last but not least, for accessories. First of all, you're gonna need a tripod. I don't bring a regular tripod when I travel 
I just find that I absolutely never use it. And if there is an instance where I need a tripod, I can just like DIY one and like build some books together, you know? Um, but it is good to have a mini tripod because if you do need a tripod and you have to like build kind of like a surface for your camera, this will help you get the perfect, you know, angles that you can't get if you're just setting your camera on a flat surface. This is also really good for if you're doing, so these are the Joby tripod, or yeah, Joby tripods. It comes in multiple sizes. I usually bring the tiny one with me when I travel because it can hold a DSLR camera. Not super, super sturdy, but like it can do it. And it just takes up less space to bring this size one versus like the one that's like this big. And then another accessory that's good to have in your kit is a little remote control. But this is really good if you're alone, if you're taking a solo trip. It's so much better than self timer. Like if you're alone and you want a picture of yourself or you're just like embarrassed, you don't want to ask anybody to take a picture of you and you're like at the Eiffel Tower or something. Doing a self timer is so annoying. You have to like run back, pose, and then like run back and do it all over again. But having a little remote with you, you can just like pose and kind of like hide it and just be like taking pictures the whole time. <laughs> yeah, no one will know that your camera's actually just like taking a picture for you. I would definitely have one, even if you're like with your boyfriend or something or your best friend and it's just two people traveling and you want a picture together or even just, you know, families, this is good for anyone. Get a remote. Last but not least, let's talk about the stabilizer that I use when I travel. Um, I recently just bought the Ronin S. I love this. Oh my God, I just dropped a freaking lens. So yeah, this is the Ronin S stabilizer. I'm obsessed with this guys. And I will say I waited so long to get a stabilizer just because, I don't know, I kind of could never figure out the correct movements to make it look good. But the Ronin S, I figured it out within probably like 30 minutes to an hour. You can quickly become a pro at using it. I can hand this to my sister, my mom, my friends teach them how to quickly use it and they can get shots of me even if they're not some like master filmmaker. And it's light and it's so comfortable and it's portable because it breaks down so well. Literally like, look at this. Breaks down like that. If you're going on a vacation or something, you can, this is so small. You just throw in your little carry-on. And then this breaks down flat like that. And the price is right. So yeah, that is what I use when I travel. I hope you guys liked this video. I know it was like really informative and not that like funny. Um, I just really wanted to get this information out to you because I know a lot of people ask me in literally every single video. I feel so bad just like liking your guys' comments and not responding to you. So I responded to you with a video. Ow. Okay, I'm not gonna do that again. I really hope you guys are enjoying the videos that I've been making lately. I feel like I'm on a really good path to like creating some more really cool stuff that I want to make. So yeah, thank you guys for supporting me and just like commenting and liking all my videos and watching them. It really means a lot and it motivates me literally every single day to keep going. I hope you guys liked this video and I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next vlog. If you guys are new here, subscribe to this channel, turn notifications on um, and yeah, Mwah. have an amazing day and have an amazing time creating your films. Bye. Okay, time to figure out how to turn this GoPro off. Will someone please comment how to turn the GoPro off because I'm not gonna be able to figure this out. She says she love me, but she don't. Playing in my heart just like a repeat of a song. Tried to make it work.